Yes, finally! The Nurburgring is here for a Senna competition. There. You like that? What? If you're an ACC fan, you've been waiting for the Nordschleifer since, well, this game came out. It's one of those circuits that I think no sim should be without. Best circuit in the world. I'm not biased. Not at all. As you know from me boasting about it all the time, I actually race here in real life. It's one of my proudest achievements. So I thought it'd be cool to go through the circuit, talk about it a bit, talk about the bits that are realistic, the bits that are maybe not so realistic, and see if this most modern iteration of the Nordschleifer in any game in sim racing is the best one on the market. So here we are then at the Nordschleifer in a Santa Corsa Competizione. We're doing uh, a little two lap race around here, 10 minutes up there against some AI. We've got GT Freeze in here. I am in a uh, GT2 Porsche, which uh, funnily enough, I've had the opportunity to actually drive in real life. So uh, this seems like the most appropriate thing to drive around here given our GT4 uh, that we're driving this year in NLS isn't actually present in the game at the moment, maybe soon. AI is set to about, well, they're set to the hardest possible difficulty there can be, which is 100%. And we're gonna see if they give us a good race around here. I've also turned time acceleration to the uh, most extreme setting. So hopefully we're gonna get a bit of daylight transition to see what this place is like at night. Cause I've been told the immersion is fantastic. But anyway, over the start finish line, waiting for the green, there it is. And off we go in our GE2 Porsche. This thing's got a lot of power. As you can see, I'm going to actually back off a little bit here because what I don't want to do is pass all the AI down on T1. AI is still a little bit weak, but you can argue this game is... Oh, hello, brother. Very much become a uh, online-only game. She's stacking up big time here, but don't worry. We're going to just uh, sneak on... Oh, brother. Hello. Hello. It's okay. I wasn't even there. Don't worry about it. So onto the GP circuit now. This is the 24-hour uh, layout, as you can tell. It's not the same as the VLN layout or the NLS layout. That goes right down here. That version doesn't actually exist in the game. Um, I'm confused as to why it doesn't, because that, that would have been a very, very easy thing to add on for the guys at Kunos, but it's not there right now, so we only get this 24-hour layout, which includes the full GP circuit. So down we go then, down the hill. And already, something that I noticed about ACC over other titles is that it just has a lot more life in the circuit. Look at the crowd, look at the banners, ads everywhere as well. It makes you really feel like you're driving the place. Oh, yellow flag. AI like to stack up when that happens, so I'm going to be nice and chill through here, or I can just go off the course. Great. And now onto the back straight, and finally preparing ourselves to what is the, the party piece of this DLC. Finally, we get to turn left after the chicane. So we're going to break hard down here, try and gain a few places now, because we're starting to get into this race, and we've only gained, I don't know, nine places or so. So now left we go. On to the proper Nürburgring, onto the northern loop. And immediately, look to the right-hand side. Look at all that life on this circuit. All those camera boxes up there as well. Now, I'll say that I've not actually driven on the track when it's been this busy. I've driven it during... Oh, my God, this car is bouncy. All right. Uh, I've driven it during RCN and uh, NLS weekends, but never during a big event. But all the curves are here, which is the main thing. All those little inside bits. Some of those are missing in other sims, but in, in this sim, every uh, curb that's there in real life, or was there, you can sort of use the straddle to get into the corner a bit better, is there in this version as well, I'm happy to say. So, get down and unleash the power now of this uh, GE2 Porsche over the hill. Blend through there. Oh my word. Gotta say, this setup, the stock setup around here, very, very bouncy. The track is very bumpy so far. The track is bumpy in real life, but not quite this bumpy. Maybe it's just a setup we're on. Down towards Schwedenkreuz now. Just a break and a turn the car in. Oh, to the inside, there's a car off to the right, luckily uh, not in our way. Is that a KTM? That von der Leiden? <laughs> Maybe, who knows? Down the hill now. This is the bit that actually is now different um, in real life. No sim has this yet. It's the, the curb on the exit of the foxhole here. So we're gonna go through the foxhole. There's big compression at the bottom. Bam, look how great this looks though. Well, up here, that curb now is now unusable. It's too high. It would just send the car off into the barrier somewhere. But down there, it looks just like real life. It's like a, it's like a corridor of trees in real life. And it had that, that feeling is there in Sim. A lot of trees here, a lot of vegetation. You really do feel like you're driving through a forest. Rebel trees there too. It, it feels very alive, this version of the circuit so far. I think some of the past versions maybe that have been out in the Sim race, and they've been around for a long time now, bear in mind. Don't quite feel this vibrant. 
for lack of a better term. It feels like there's a lot going on here. But that being said, you know, it is the Norge Cipher. It's a circuit that exists in every sim and has done for quite a while. So I'm just hoping ACC is doing something special to make us really feel like this is the definitive version. This is the latest version of the old circuit before the changes at the foxhole. So it's got a lot to live up to. And oh, I, I love that view so much. You get this every time you come around to just the trees on the hill there as you come down towards uh, Adenau. What an amazing view that is. See, the sun's getting a bit long now. Shadow's getting a uh, longer, sorry. Sun lower in the sky as we get towards the sort of night transition, which I'm very interested in seeing. Very awkward up here. We've got a lot of power in this GT2, but we don't have quite the aero of the other car. Side by side, he's still there. Just about managed to get by that Audi nice. Now we come up towards the mud curve. Bravery corner. Oh my God, what's that Porsche doing in front, bro? AI is looking to try and have a big crash. KTM they're hitting the inside curve, getting the scare. Oh my God, they got that bit right there. How close that wall is. On the exit. I've nearly got off there myself. I've done a very good job of making this making this feel about as narrow it is in real life. Now it comes to the carousel, very important detail of course, of this circuit. Hit the brake pedal, we'll just sort of tip it in. Yeah, it feels good. God, the car feels like it's going through hell going through there though. Got a fairly soft setup on the car here, but it feels like maybe that isn't the right way to go because the car is reacting in strange ways to the bumps around here. I'm not sure if that's just an ACC thing of how the cars handle. But it doesn't feel 100% like I would imagine it to. Of course, I've not driven a GE2 around here, but I have driven one of these in uh, around Port Amal, and that felt pretty planted. This feels a little bit wobbly. Oh, what a cool section. Look at this, though. The sun in the trees now. Is all the the colours start to turn a little bit orange, a little bit yellow. This, to me, is what this circuit's all about. It's that transition. It's never the same lap by lap. And look at that. Massive crowd there. Definitely in N24 mode. There's something that I'm really looking forward to doing this year. It's just getting to experience that. Experience the crowd and the festival atmosphere of a 24 whilst hustling a GT4 around here. It's going to be very special indeed. Oh my god, the bumps Look, towards that's going over the crest. God. Okay, over there. I've heard some people say the, I think the Porsche Cup. Oh my god, the AI. The AI. Not having a good time around here, it seems. Not able to race itself. It just uh, goes side by side in places that it wouldn't be able to really do that in real life. And Oh, there's a car off there, Bentley off. And now those oranges starting to turn to, to pinks and purples as the sun starts to disappear below the horizon. And now, for that too, we're going to be round here at night. AI providing a good race so far, even though they're a bit everywhere. I think my lights are on. Does this have, does this have lights? I hope so. Look at that Mercedes behind us. That's the only car in the field with more horsepower than us. Look at it, Paul there. We're doing 285 cases, putting it alongside. We do have a seventh gear. Shouldn't have used it. Mistake. We're going to have one more lap, and now we're starting to pull in the cars in front. Look at the sky there. Underneath the Bilstein Bridge. Up to. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh man. This track's so good. Up on the curb here. Oh, yeah. Hit the wall a little bit. A little bit of frame rate there. To touch the wall. I've noticed the performance of this circuit isn't 100% of what I'd expect it to be. But bear in mind, I am recording two instances of OBS right now. One for my face cam, one for the... One for the game. So we are putting a lot of strain on this PC. At the inside. Oh, first gear's well short. I thought it was longer than that. Almost like being in neutral. And now it's night time and look how this track changes. It goes from being this sort of beautiful Eiffel Forest thing to now just Car on the right. like a horror Car on the movie. Right. Sorry, Mr. Audi, I'm going to take that from you forcefully. Now, this is something that I've not got to experience yet in real life is what this place is like at night. I'm just looking forward to seeing what it's like on a, on a Norge Life for itself. The GP circuit, I can take or leave, you know, it's not a bad track, but the only thing that the GP circuit serves in my mind is a uh, is a path towards the best circuit in the world. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. So here we go, back onto the North Shore for one more time, this time in the dead of night. Oh my God, this thing is not quick enough. Look at the light through there. Oh my God, car on my inside. Nope, get away. 
Is that Mercedes? Is that Mercedes is strong. Through here though, very, very bumpy through here. Like bumpier than real life through there, definitely. That's one of the things I would say maybe not quite 100 percent on par. Oh my god. This and dead. F. Not quite on par with the real thing. It's just this. I don't know if it's how the cars come from baseline, but it feels very, very difficult to actually use the circuit in this car. This is a GT2 car. These and GT3 cars, you'll see them be launched over these curves in real life. Here, it feels like you have to sort of take a, a step back. But so far, in terms of accuracy, you know, it's, it's pretty spot on. But in the nicest way possible, you sort of expect it to be now, don't you? You expect it to be as close and as realistic as possible. I've not driven this against uh, other people yet online. I would love to do that. Only against AI so far. The experience has been pretty decent. You know, the AI have been um, odd in some places. If you've seen in this video, they sort of just sometimes loop it and do odd things when going side by side. But otherwise, it's, it's not terrible. Look at this down here, though. Look at how claustrophobic does this feel going down here? Trying to get down here as quick as you can whilst in your mirror with this bright set of high beams just pushing it down the hill. But this, this circuit feels... It feels alive driving around here at night. All the lights, all the illuminations. Such a good job of just bringing you into that experience. That's what sim racing is all about, you know. Sim racing is about, in my mind anyway, giving you the experience of what it would be like to drive in real life. And sometimes that's in the form of just almost unreasonable realism. But others, that's in just atmosphere and the feel. You can almost smell the barbecues as you drive by this place, you know. The iRacing version of this circuit is dead compared to this. When you drive around it, it feels like it's just this barren wasteland. This feels like you're actually at a festival, which is what the N24 is. A massive festival dedicated to motorsport. Kills have done a great job of this, they really have. But then, like, as I said before, you expect them to, you know? Like, this, this DLC is about the same price as what you would pay for an iRacing... Oh, Jesus, an iRacing circuit. So it needs to be spot on. It feels like it, so far it's probably the best version that's available out there. But again, you'd expect that given how much newer it is and other versions of, of the circuit. I'm, I'm missing I'm missing this. Yep. That's not a special trick, it's missing the bloody carousel at the moment. No, 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 no. <laughs> this poor Mercedes, man. Come on, Porsche. Oh, he's on the inside now. It's going to be sketchy. <laughs> Never give up. <laughs> Even when you should. I'm a big fan. I think if I was to honestly make any sort of criticisms that in some places a bit too bumpy. Uh oh. I might have uh, gone over a few too many curbs there. Might have a puncher. <laughs> it looks so, it's so immersive at night, isn't it? Oh god, that right rear is... Uh... I've got practice for this. It's just like real life. The car that won't turn no more. <laughs> Not quite flat down here, is it? I don't know we're going to pretend it is. It's definitely beautiful. And now we're going the other end of the spectrum now. The sun's starting to come back up again. Look at all these colours, man. I, I'm so lucky that I am doing this this year. I can't even imagine to begin to map what, what it's going to be like in real life. No idea. If it's anything like this, then... I'm going to be a happy boy. Oh, Jesus Christ, Jimmy, come on. Bring it back in. And look at that, as we finish the race, the sun starts to rise. Right, come on, Porsche. Oh, Mercedes, more strong. Side draft. Side draft. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Come on! Send her in here! <laughs> oh! Oh, bumpy! Oh, bumpy! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! It's a bumpy circuit, but we're going to make it home <laughs> in P5. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Nordschleifer in a set of course at Competizione. It's pretty good. <laughs> so, in conclusion, it is 
probably the best version of the Nurburgring out there right now. The most accurate. The feeling of the place is just fantastic. It really does feel like you're there at the 24. I've been there as a spectator a few times and all those spectators lie on the circus, all those little structures you see, they're all there in real life. It really makes you, it just gives you that extra bit of immersion that I think is lacking in a couple of other versions of the, of the track. I think if anything, it's a little bit bumpier than the real life version. I'm not quite sure that's just down to the way a set of Corsa handles the suspension in the game. I've seen a couple of weird videos of Porsche Cup cars bouncing off um, crests and whatnot, but it's like 99% of the way there, which I think for a sim, for the closest that a lot of people are going to get to driving here, to the closest that I would have got to driving here had Bill Steiner not contacted me, this is a pretty good alternative. And I can't wait to get involved in 24-hour races, in Duros here. I think it's going to be an absolute blast. We just need him to add a new M4 now so we can have the Bill Stein car in here. What's going on? Come on. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And if you're unlucky, you might see me in your lobby at some point. I need to do some races here. It's going to be just awesome. Take care, have an awesome day. See you next time.